So last night, I think all of us were shocked when the news came out that Arco Linux is closing shop. It's going to be shutting down here in the next few weeks. Eric Dubois, the maintainer of Arco Linux, put out this video last night. Arco Linux, the end. Farewell to Arco Linux and all of its projects. Eric has been working on Arco Linux for eight years or so and he's decided you know he's had enough you know, he's put in a, a lot of work over the last few years and basically wants to just retire from maintaining a linux distribution it's a lot of work as he gets older he says you know there's other things he wants to do which is kind of normal right most people do not work on a software project for the rest of their lives right at some point you have other interests or just other things in life get in the way so this is not an unusual event i have dealt with this a few times over the years where i've been on distributions that eventually just cease to exist right they go away and you have to move on to the next distribution now the great thing about arco linux is it's based on arch linux so there's really not much you need to do it's a rolling release distribution all we really need to do is change the uh, mirrors in our pacman.conf you know back over to your standard uh, arch repositories right you know get rid of the arco repositories and you should be good and that is exactly what i am going to do today on camera let me go ahead Ahead, and I'm going to switch over to my desktop here and let's open a terminal. So if you're on Arco Linux right now, let me zoom in and clear the terminal. If you're on Arco Linux right now, run an update. When you run an update, you're probably going to get a new pacman.conf because they've already pushed this out. If I do a cat of my pacman.conf, you know, at the end, you're going to have the Arco mirrors here you know you've got these repos added these are standard arco linux repos right but now you have this comment remove these last lines once they produce errors meaning at some point these packages that are still in these repos they're not going to receive any updates i think uh, july 1st is when they're officially calling it quits eventually they're not updating any more of the packages in their repos some of those packages at some point may start producing errors so you need to get rid of these repos and go back to a standard arch pacman.com make sure you have your standard arch repos enabled which you do already on arco you don't have to fool with this and then you probably want to add the chaotic aur if you're not already using the chaotic aur because a lot of the packages that arco linux builds there's binary builds of a lot of those packages in the chaotic aur so make sure you have the chaotic aur enabled and then you can safely remove these now what's going to happen is even if i remove all of these lines from my pacman.com and let's go ahead and do this so let me sudo vim slash etsy pacman.com. So let me go down to the Arco repos and, you know, let's just go ahead and delete these. So I'll just delete all of that, right, and quit. Let me do a sudo pacman dash syy. Let's go ahead and update the mirrors. And you can see the mirrors now are your standard Arch mirrors plus the DT core repository because I've been working on uh, getting DTOS back up and running. I made a video about that just a couple of days ago. Uh, Chaotic AUR is also here. So these are the only mirrors you should have. Obviously, you shouldn't have my DTOS core repo, but you should have core, extra, multi lib, and chaotic AUR. And essentially, you're back using straight arch. Now, one thing you need to do is you probably want to go ahead and run an update of the system. Uh, just to see if there are any errors, any conflicts. And you can see, I, uh, I actually just ran an update a few minutes ago. And because I changed the mirrors, now all of a sudden I have new updates. Because these are packages that I was getting from the Arco Linux repos before. But now that Arco Linux is no longer in my pacman.conf, you know, it's searching for where to get those packages from now. And it's going to get them from the chaotic AUR, which is exactly what I want. So let me go ahead and get these packages installed through chaotic. So for me, there were no weird issues, no conflicts. If there are conflicts, you may have to uninstall some of the things you installed from the Arco repos and reinstall them from other repositories such as the chaotic AUR. But in my case, I was lucky. I don't use a lot from the Arco repos on my system because I build a lot of my own packages and have my own repo of stuff. So my 
use case is a little bit different than most Arco users. But naturally, you may want to go ahead and remove some packages that are installed from the Arco Linux repos. And this is a situation you may run into uh, with other repos. You know, sometimes you want to see what packages were installed from some third party repo that you used to use, you no longer use, and you just want to remove all the packages that you installed through that repo. How can you do this? Well, on Arch Linux, there is a neat thing you can do. You can install the pacman-contrib package, just sudo pacman-s, pacman-contrib. What this is, this is an extra set of scripts that are useful to do some advanced stuff, uh, such as checking updates, the pack cache command you guys probably have used before. Pack list is actually the one I'm going to use out of here. We've also got rank mirrors as part of this. So if you don't have pacman-contrib installed, install that because we're going to use this pack list command. So I can actually do something like pack list. And in my case, because I have dtos-core-repo as part of my mirrors in my pacman.com, I can see everything that I currently have installed from the DTOS repos. And I've got these packages installed. Now I could do the same thing, obviously, for Arco Linux. Uh, I'm not sure what the, uh, well, it looks like Arco Linux underscore repo is the name of the main repo. It says that repo is not found. It's because I already removed it from the pacman.conf. Well, that is unfortunate. I, let me add it back to my pacman.com. So did I have a backup? Yes, I have a backup. Uh, I wanted to sudo vim this file. And let me go grab these repos again. So these were the repos that are part of the original pacman.com that I was using. What I'm going to do, I'm going to control shift C to copy in the terminal here. I'm going to open a new terminal and I'm going to sudo vim slash etsy pacman.conf, my regular .conf. And then I'm going to go back and add, or actually uh, it looks like a vim, neo vim actually remembers the undo history. So I actually didn't need to go do all of this copying and pasting. So what I did is I just went back to the previous pacman.conf. Let's do a sudo pacman dash capital S Y Y to resync all the mirrors. And you see, I've got the Arch Linux repos back enabled. And now let me do that pack list Arco Linux underscore repo, because that's one of the repos enabled. And there are all the packages I have installed through this repo. So if I wanted to, I could go in here and do a sudo pacman-r, you know, all of these various packages, you know, arco, whatever, you know, these are all the ones that are available for me to uninstall. If I wanted to automate this, you could script it. So one thing I could do is I could do a sudo pacman-r and then dollar sign, we're going to give it basically a command to run that's going to be our argument for pacman dash r the uh, command run is pack list arco linux underscore repo so basically it's going to take this list these package names now the package names also come with version numbers we can't use that uh, with the pacman dash r command so we need to filter that out we'll filter that out using awk so let's awk and print dollar sign one the first field the first field is the name of the package uh, the second field would be the version number which is what we don't need so we only want the first field if i did this correctly it should run a pacman dash r all of those packages now before running this command make sure there's nothing important here and make sure there's not a package that you really need now the good thing is in my case all of these are basic arco linux like config files I don't use any of the Arco Linux configs. You know, a lot of them are installed on the system because they put config files and slash Etsy slash skill, but I've got my own like dot files and everything. I don't use any of their configs. Um, the only thing that might cause you issues is you're going to get rid of the Arco Linux mirror list. Uh, but again, we're going to remove the Arco Linux mirrors from pacman.conf anyway. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and run this and it's installing or uninstalling all of those programs. Now let me rerun that command. And uh, actually before doing that, let me do a pack list Arco Linux repo. Uh, what was the other repo? 
I can't remember the names of the repo. Let me open a new terminal. Once again, I'll cat my hackman.com Arco Linux underscore repo underscore third party underscore three party. There we go. And it said, uh, because I removed the mirror list, <laughs> it can't read that. But it looks like yeah, the, the mirror list is a little bit messed up now because I got to make sure I go back into my pacman.com with sudo vim. I don't know why. I guess it's in my history. I've typed it wrong so many times it's in my history. Uh, let's go ahead and delete all of that. And now do a sudo pacman syy. And now everything should be good again. Pacman dash QQ grip Arco. Are there any other things as far as packages installed that's names start or have the string Arco? No. Uh, Garcon here is not an Arco package. So I think I have gotten rid of everything that was Arco related on my system. So hopefully if you guys are wanting to do like a mass deletion of a lot of uh, Arco packages, uh, because they're never going to get updated. Those are just things that are going to sit on your file system forever. If you're not using them, it's okay to just go ahead and get rid of them. And now that that's done, I'm essentially running straight Arch. Well, technically, I'm kind of running DTOS, right? Because I've got my, also my repos enabled, and I've done so much configuration to this thing. Even though technically I installed this as Arco Linux, it was essentially you know, DT's operating system already because of all the weird stuff I do with my system. Uh, speaking of DTOS, it is rather strange that two days ago I thought about, you know, restarting DTOS, creating a new DTOS ISO with a new uh, installation script, you know, basically creating my own Arch-based distribution again. I, I've been working on DTOS on and off for you know four or five years. I've had a couple of different iterations of it. I've made ISOs before. I had a Arch Linux post installation script I also used. By the way, um, people have been asking uh, about the old DTOS post installation script. Do not use that. It's not going to work right now. As a matter of fact, I should archive my GitLab uh, repository for that script so people um, quit using it because I am going to create an ISO really soon of DTOS. I've got some work I need to do on it. You know, we've got probably a couple of weeks away from being ready, but you know, eventually you are going to get uh, basically my desktop, right? My Qtile desktop configured as is, as you see it right now, right? With my uh, Alacrity config, my shell color scripts, and all of my DM scripts packages that are part of, uh, you know, various scripts that are designed to run with Rofi or D menu or fuzzy finder. I'm going to have some fuzzy finder scripts as well. Things that are designed to be run at the command line. I'm going to have, you know, a lot of my custom tooling as part of this. And you, I, I think a lot of people, you know, are wanting this because I've got a lot of requests. I got a lot of requests before starting this project back up again. And now I think because Arco Linux, you know, this is just weird timing now that Arco Linux is shutting down. Uh, some people are going to want a very easy way to install Arch Linux that comes with a customized tiling window manager desktop. So I'm going to be working on DTOS. I may schedule a couple of live streams actually this week. We may actually, I, I may do some development work on that on stream with you guys. We'll just stream it live on YouTube because a lot of you guys want to see the process of how to build a distribution, you know, how to create your repos and build your packages and build the ISO and, you know, the installation script I'm using, you know, what all is involved in the installation process. So I'll go through the, the script I've been working on. So look for that this week. I'll probably, again, schedule at least a couple of streams in the next week or so, and we'll do some of that live. And one final thing I want to mention is that building Linux distributions, maintaining Linux distributions is a lot of work. It's very time consuming. That's why, you know, 99% of all the Linux distributions that have been created are no longer with us, right? Linux has been around for 30 years or so as far as the kernel. Most Linux distributions, they didn't last that long, right? Most Linux distributions come and go. Um, and it's just one of those things. It's a it's a time commitment. It's also a financial commitment. In many cases, you have to buy equipment to test things on. For example, with DTOS, I know I'm going to run into a situation where I rarely test things on laptops. I'm not a laptop user. I don't really have any laptops. I have a couple of really old ThinkPads that are complete potatoes. They're not modern equipment in any way. 
eventually for me to properly test DTOS as I'm working on this thing, I'm going to need some more equipment, right? <laughs> or I need more hard drives in this machine to do physical installs on because I can't keep wiping it. I can't overwrite what I've got on my workstation here at the office because this is the machine I record, right? I've got a couple of different YouTube channels. I, I can't be distro hopping on this machine. That's impossible because it would ruin me being able to make video content, right? It would really get in the way of that. So I'm going to have extra machines and then you may have server calls. And there's a lot of stuff that goes into building a Linux distribution. So you guys that seem excited about me getting DTOS up and running, please help me financially, right? Subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. It would help not just support me working on DTOS, but also the content you guys get here on YouTube and Odyssey. Also, if, if you don't want to do a subscription, I know a lot of people don't like doing monthly subscriptions. You can do a one-time donation. I do have a PayPal link in the channel header of my YouTube page. So feel free to throw me a few bucks via PayPal if you want, because again, you know, I am going to dedicate a lot of time here in the next few weeks and potentially, potentially few months getting DTOS up and off the ground. I need to create a proper website for it. We're going to do some documentation. One of the things that's been rolling around in my head is a documentation. I'm going to do a lot of video documentation, which is something you really don't get with Linux distributions. Eric Dubois did it with Arco Linux because he had thousands and thousands of videos. But I'm, you know, I'm thinking about creating like a, a video man page kind of package where if you want a man page on a particular command, you know, instead of reading the man page, which is kind of dry and boring, you know, it's an instruction manual, right? Hey, I'm going to have uh, the ability for you to look up DT's video man page, you know, just a, a short little video on a particular command like, you know, LS or CP or whatever it happens to be. So, you know, of course, that's going to require a lot of work. You can imagine making videos takes a ton of time uh, doing, you know, potentially hundreds of videos on various, you know, shell utilities, for example. Going to take some work, but I'm willing to do it because I find that actually kind of intriguing because it's something that, again, I don't think it's been done before. So, yeah, guys, help support my work. I'd really appreciate it. And let me uh, go ahead and thank the sponsors of this video. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. I want to thank Matt, Steve, 40 Millimeter, Cap K, Mandarloff, Lee, Mark, Methos, Erion, Paul, Peace, Archer, Medora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Warjin 2, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick episode you just watched would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen all these names you're seeing on the screen right now these are all my supporters over on patreon i don't have any corporate sponsors i'm sponsored by you guys the community if you like my work and want to see more videos about linux and free and open source software please subscribe to distrotube over on patreon peace guys